Alter ego. Most people um, define that as being another side of a person. Um, I decided to come and do this video because it has been brought to my attention yet again that um, someone else in my personal life has discovered my YouTube channel. And this video right here, so instead of me constantly having to explain to people why I do YouTube, not that I have to, as a 29-year-old woman, um, justify or explain why I do something because I'm grown and I can do what it is that I want to do. But in order to prevent having to explain why I do what I do, over and over again, I decided to make this video as a reference for those who I know personally who may wonder like, wow, she acts completely different around us, you know, than she does on her YouTube channel. So I'm going to explain to those who are a little bit confused about Thick Chick Vlogs versus me, I don't want to say my name, but versus me, this video is an explanation for you. Okay, it is no secret, I make no secret about it, that I have suffered from depression, I've suffered from um, low self-esteem, I've suffered from all those things. I make no secret about that. That is very public. Um, and it's something that I speak about because I feel like it helps a lot of other people. A lot of people that I interact with here on YouTube or or on my um, Thick Chick Vlogs Facebook page, you know, a lot of people message me telling me that they've gone through the same thing or they're going through the same things. And my videos, little old me, little old Thick Chick Vlogs videos, lifts their day. And I sit back sometimes and I think to myself, like, wow, I wish that back when I was a teenager and when I, when I was going through the things that I was going through, I wish that there was some type of YouTube then. When I was, you know, 12, 13, 14, 15 years old, if, there, if YouTube was around, I didn't know anything about it. So I didn't have that kind of escape when it came to my depression. Now my family. They they just thought when I was going through the things that I was going through. They just thought that I was lashing out. They thought I was. You know. I'm not going to say they thought I was crazy. But they just thought I was some type of demon child. When in all honesty. The entire time. I was kind of. And I'm going to try not to get emotional. Bitch. Calm your nerves. Okay. Calm your nerves. I'm going to try not to get, emo get emotional. But. A lot of times, the things that I was doing, I was doing it because I wanted someone to ask me, what's wrong? What's, you know, try to get to the bottom of why I was acting the way that I was acting, you know. So, I was always kind of sheltered and um, I didn't like to do much. I was just kind of like the quiet chick who just sat in the corner and didn't say anything. And of course, you know, I grew up, I graduated, I went to college and I started to gain a little bit more confidence. So in 2012, I graduated, in, I graduated from high school in 2003 and I went to college in 2003. In 2012, um, I decided, because I was, you know, a little chunky girl, so I decided to go on this weight loss situation. And that was one of the first times that I discovered YouTube. Um, I'll never forget, one of the first people that I started watching on YouTube was The Scorpion Show. Um, I remember I used to show my sister some of their videos, and I kind of got her to watch them for a little while. And... The Scorpion Show was just, you know, I, I just en enjoyed their video. I mean, every single day I would look forward to Kevin and Mikkel 
making a video to get a kiki that really was kind of like an escape for me and um in 2012 like i said i decided that i wanted to start um a weight loss you know situation because you know i, I realized i was gaining weight and i wanted to lose a little bit of weight to kind of you know help me with my confidence as you as i said before you guys know i had low self-esteem back in the back back day and after I graduated high school and I got out of those bad situations that I was dealing with in high school, I started to gain a lot of self-confidence in college and, you know, dating and all that type of stuff. I really started to come into myself. So in 2012, I started to um, decided I wanted to lose weight and watching YouTube videos, I, just, I saw all these people starting their weight loss journeys and all of this type of stuff. So I was like, you know what? I want to I want to start a weight loss journey. And I want to do it via YouTube. And I started to make videos about my weight loss journey. And a lot of the people that have been following me for a while, they remember that. Like my girl, um, Miss New Life 808, Miss Aloha, call her Miss Aloha. She has been following me since the beginning. And a couple of more people have been following me since the beginning. Now those videos, those weight loss videos, they are still on my channel, but they are on private because bitch, I was bitch. I was all kinds of, I was, I was young. Okay, I was really young. But those videos are still on my channel, but they are, they are on private. But that is the very first reason why I started to do YouTube. And then um, I did my weight loss thing and I had lost a lot of weight. I mean, every single day I used to take my family, you guys here on the YC, I used to take you guys out with me as I went on my daily walks every single day. I did this faithfully for months. And um, then I just... I don't know what it was. I guess it was the work situation where I was working at. I started to, it was a bad situation that I was in. They were stressing me out over there. And um, I stopped making, recording my videos for a, a long time. And I was still on my weight loss kick. But one day I came back and I just started to make just regular videos, just talking about whatever. I said, you know what? Because when I was on YouTube, during my weight loss kick, I had gained so much self-confidence. Now, remember, when I was in high school, uh, a middle school, elementary school, I was one of those types of people. I didn't really talk. I had a, I had a, a select group of people who I associated with, but they weren't, you know, my friends, to be brutally honest with you. They really weren't. I have a couple of people that I was friends with, but they weren't really my friends. So, I when I got on YouTube and I started to meet all these amazing people who I've never met in my entire life. Just people on the computer who I've never met in my entire life. I started to gain even more confidence. And people used to ask me like, I, you're the type of person, you, you never talk. You, you know, you don't say anything. You, you know, you're really quiet. Like, I can't believe that you're doing YouTube videos. This was when I had was doing the weight loss thing. And... I was like, I know, I don't, like I said, I didn't understand what it was about YouTube that, that I just felt so comfortable. I don't know if it's the fact that I'm talking to the camera and then uploading it or what it is, but it, it, it really helped me a lot. Um, so I said, you know what, I'm going to start to do daily vlogs where I just talk about any and everything, just my life, just things that go on in my everyday life. I'm going to talk about it. And that's what I decided to do. So that's how after the weight loss thing, all the other videos came about. And I guess a lot of people are really confused by how I'm able to get on YouTube and be so expressive and express myself and tell people how I feel as opposed to in my personal life. And a lot of people are like, you know, I can't believe that you get on there and you, you know, you tell people about, and the thing is, if you guys don't know, I do not share everything with you guys here on YouTube. I come on here and I might share something funny that ha that's happened to me or I might get on here and I just might talk about some random stuff or about stuff that's going on with the apartment, but I don't necessarily get on here and tell you guys about my personal, personal life. Like my family. That's my personal, personal life. I would never get on here and, and air out anything about my family because that's not for 
YouTube. That's not YouTube's business for me to get on here and air out anything about my personal life. But I, like I said, getting on YouTube, I have gained so much self-confidence, so much self-love just by getting on here and talking to a camera. And people actually say that they've had bad days and they can watch my videos and it makes them happy. And I'm thinking to myself, like, what about my channel and my videos that would make someone happy? Like, I get on here and I just talk about any and everything and it just comes straight off the dome. Like, I don't, you know, sometimes I get on here and I've told several of you guys this. They're like, thick chick, thick, thick chick, did you realize that you said this? And a, a lot of times, to be honest, I don't realize half of the shit that I say until I watch the videos back. Like, for real. And another thing, people, they 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 hear me throw out motherfuckers and, and bitches and all this type of stuff. And it shocks them because in my personal life around my family... I don't use profane language and it's not because I'm being fake or phony or anything. It's out of respect. It's out of respect for them that I don't want to come around them. Throwing. And plus we don't have those types of conversations for me to throw off motherfuckers and F bombs. It's just a matter of, of, of a form of respect for my family to not curse around them. See when I'm around them, they don't have a choice to hear me use profanity. Because they're in my immediate area. But my family has a choice as to whether or not they want to watch my videos. That's just like a person who is an actress or a comedian. They might get on there on the stage and they can curse and they can talk about their sex lives and all this stuff in a, a, a funny manner. But that's what they do as they're living. And you have a lot of comedians and things like that who have Christian families who go to church. But they still throw out their comedic side. You kind of get what I'm saying? And my mother, she knows about my YouTube channel. My sister knows about my YouTube channel. My father, before he passed, he knew about my YouTube channel. They didn't know specifically the content of my YouTube channel because they know this is something that I enjoy doing and they know that it's something that that helps me um, in my everyday life. So they don't really care. As long as I'm not getting on here disrespecting anyone, disrespecting them, airing out my family's business, why would they care what a grown person does on her channel? I'm not getting on here with my legs cocked open showing you guys my, my twat or nothing like that. I'm coming on here and I'm giving you guys the raw and real me in my second self, my alter ego. So that is how Thick Chick Vlogs became about. Thick Chick Vlogs came about because I was I was going through depression. It's no secret. I've shared that several times. I've dealt with low self-esteem several times. And I got on YouTube as a form of um, kind of like, I don't know, uh, uh, to help build up my self-esteem with my weight loss. And people started to like me and I started to like recording videos and just talking to the camera. And it really helped me build up my self-esteem and to know that I help little old me help other people get through their days, people who deal with depression and all those types of things to let them know that there's a way out of that, you know, through prayer and through, um, accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I've shared all that as well on my channel. My testimony is always down in the description box. If you guys want to check it out, but for the, those people who are confused as to why I do videos and why I get on here and I throw off air bombs and all this type of stuff because Thick Chick Vlogs is my alter ego. It's a person who is my second self. It's a person where I can come on here and I can express myself freely without feeling like I'm being judged or without giving a fuck as to whether or not I'm being judged. So, for anyone who is confused as to why I do YouTube, that is the reason why I do YouTube. And I hope this answers your question. Bye.